Let me pop in here. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal, episode 313, lucky 313, in front of Coach 1369. Pardon the, the voice, and I'm a little under the weather, so I'm not quite sure what under the weather means. You know what under the weather means? I mean, unless you're Neil Armstrong, we're all under the weather. That's my shout out to Wapakoneta, Ohio, this morning. Excuse me, Mark. Sorry, guys. With about, oh, I'd say anywhere between three and four weeks to go, Coach 1369 is in full swing. Lots of craftsmen working in here. You see Mark right over here. Working. Mark, what are you working on right now? Right now we're working on a line cover. Covered up all the electrical, getting it ready for the switches, and we're done. So if you didn't hear him, Mark's working on a line cover. Basically, it covers a lot of uh, lines that go to those switches. Mark, you've been, have you been with us, what, two years now? Almost two. Almost two. I was darn close. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. I feel like I've been here since forever. I love it. I love it. Well, anyway, everybody, 1369, we're going to take a quick look here as we roam through it. But as you can see, the lighting of the valances and the styles are up. That's really nice to see. <coughs> Man, pardon my voice, everybody. As you can see, the protective tape is over. This is a really bright coach. It's a two-tone. So you've got this, this gray, but you also have over here, as you can see, uh, this real bright color, or not bright, but at least warmer color. Let's use that term. I'm a big fan of the new Fisher Paykel and the X3s. And I love the shower in here. And it's a bunk coach, as you can see on John's right side as he moves into the left side or the curb side. There's your shower, or excuse me, there's your, your bunks, and there's your shower with the features on the driver's side, curbside. And then as we move to the back, you can see we've got the rear closet situated with the washer dryer stacking and of course the cabinetry and the um, all the nice drawers. That's one of the new things to uh, the Marathon X3 floor plan is that now that all we've got all these rear wardrobes uh, in here in this cabinet. That's really nice. We worked our way around where all of the electrical uh, items for the audio visual system is and we removed them. So instead of taking up this entire bank, you know, you now have these beautiful drawers back here. You've got, gosh, I think nine or 10 of them back there. It's really nice. So we're gonna move our way through the back of the coach. I love a bunk coach. So in about three weeks, we're gonna be able to see this as it's coming out of audit. And we'll be able to take a look at it. It also has some beautiful blue color on the exterior. Let me switch spots here with you, John. I'll let you walk out. All right, Mark. Y'all have a good one. You too, brother. All right. So a big thanks to Dennis McBride, our sales guy down in Texas. If you haven't met Dennis and you're in the Texas area, stop in and um, go say hi to Dennis. See what kind of uh, operation we are running out of our Dallas location. It's a really cool facility. And Dennis McBride is a great guy. If you haven't met him, stop in at Texas. If, you're, if you are a marathon owner, make an appointment down there. Call down there. Uh, Tim Riley will give you an appointment if you need your coach worked on. We're going to go inside this coach. I'm not going to tell you a lot of details about it, but there's a lot of details I want to show you. This is a beautiful custom, <coughs> excuse me, custom quad. Let's roll in here. Now we are live and Alan is on the phone. Everybody say hi to Alan. <laughs> Let's start in the very, very back and let Alan hold his conversation. Oh, good call. Will you do that for us? 
Thank you, Alan. Come on back here, John, and let's take a look. This is such a beautiful coach. And a big thank you to the owners who uh, told Dennis this morning that it was okay for us to show it on the show. What a beautiful coach. There's so much about this I love. First of all, you guys know I love a good quad. There's so much storage in this coach and creative storage. I'm gonna show you a few different things that I really like about this coach. What do we have here? Very nice, talk about creative storage. Look, you got just a little bit of area on the side of the slide out mechanism. Look at this, isn't that great? And a lot of you have seen a sofa on this side. A lot of people prefer to have a sofa over here, but more people are deciding to see this bench style with these drawers. Now look at how deep these drawers are. Isn't that something? I love that because you've got this huge deck over here and you've got all of this storage and you still have a sitting bench right here. That's nicely padded too. So you still have the ability to sit here and get ready. That's cool. John, I'll let you get a shot of that shower because Alan's got the lighting features on. Very beautiful. Take a look at the size of this closet, you guys. With that check me mirror, isn't that beautiful? There's John. Look at those drawers, man. That's huge. Look at that. This is the power of custom coach building. Alan, this is a beautiful coach. It is. It is for a fact. Absolutely beautiful. Lots of creative storage, Alan. It is. Ceiling is a new design. You, you catch that feature throughout from the shower to the lit up door here. What do we have here? Oh, yeah, look at this. A good slot, not only for the Dyson, but also for your washer and dryer supplies because right behind me on the curbside, stacking washer dryer right here. Fisher Pico refrigerator freezer. I'll let John, you know what? I'm sorry. Let's switch sides here. Just a beautiful coach. Lots of details are in, in this coach. I wanna show you this. One of the largest pantries we've put in a coach in a very long time. Alan, this is a great utilization of this space. And uh, something that's really cool, they're adjustable. Yes. You, uh, you get the big cereal boxes. Yep. You, you, got a, you can have room for that. A very good point. Alan is making reference to the fact that all of these, and we've got what, eight of them? Seven of them. We've got seven shelves that are fully adjustable. And so you can- yeah, can good, you don't want to put a space above exactly. it. Exactly. That's great. Very nice. Oh, I like the seat backs on this, Alan. Uh-huh, that's an ostrich. It's embossed leather to look like an ostrich, is that correct? Yep. Okay. Very nice. And as you see right now, Alan is working on the decor of this coach. Alan, what does it uh, take you approximately to do the decor on a coach like this? Uh, well, we start shopping once it starts getting close to uh, when it finishes. We start shopping early. And then uh, once we have the things, it, it takes us approximately a day and a half to a day once it gets unre uh, revealed, because there's so much protection on it that you can't really see everything together. You, you have a mental Absolutely. image of it, but it's nothing like the real deal. So 
uh, some of the things we picked out may work, some don't fit. And decor, it's all size, color, theme. Uh, there's a lot of elements that has to work with it uh, to actually make the final uh, tape down. Yeah. Okay, so you help design this coach along with the customers. Yes, sir. I'm going to put you on the spot right now. Okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> I want your two favorite features of this coach. Um, one, obviously, is the quad. The space is Absolutely. Way cool. uh, to have all this space, yeah. you yeah. know, when you, and I said that to you this morning before we were on yeah. live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love a quad, yeah. is what I said Absolutely. to you. You walk in and there's just so much space. You know, it's got to fit your lifestyle. So if you... If you drive around a lot from place to place, it's probably not going to be your thing. You might go to a triple slide where you got the double slide in the rear. Or depending on your your lot at whatever yeah, RV yeah. park that you spend if time at. If you're just going to the lot and spend a, a season, yep, absolutely, because it does give you that extra space is huge. Absolutely. But, uh, you know, it depends on how you use it and what you do. But uh, this one has a larger where the seat is yes it's those, shorter and the drawers are the deeper. drawers and we showed that at the yeah. at the when we it's were back cool. there so way instead cool. of a 10 inch drawer with uh that bench they're seat, much deeper oh they are much deeper. yeah so that's a nice feature and you still get to sit there and put your shoes on absolutely and yeah you get a little bit that's great uh one negative about it is when you travel you have to have the seat uh pulled up Okay. Uh, usually the bed goes over that bench seat, which reduces the size of the drawer bank. Well, that's okay when you're traveling. Yeah. And there's all, you know, there's shut off so you can't do it accidentally. Absolutely. Uh, so, yeah. Well, that's beautiful. It's coming together it very nicely. Um, I see the elephant over here. Uh, yeah. The elephant uh, in the room. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's and, right. Uh, it's got a uh, custom cribbage board. Oh, very cool. Oh, my goodness. And then you know, like that. So it's kind of cool. Dual functioning. Yeah, exactly. Very cool. Yeah. Alan? Yes, sir. Is that a flip up table? Yes. Wow. Can I flip it up? Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, Still has the TV. Easy place to play cribbage. Easy right? place to play cribbage, my people. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. And then the TV pops up. I love it. Travel down the road. That's yeah. great style, too. Yeah. And good functioning table here. a little storage down there plus the table. Yeah, so, I see that. Yeah. It's kind of like a hidden storage below yeah. that. We did that with a glass table a while back, but uh, this is a lot more, be a lot more functional, cleanable, things like that. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Have dinner. So, no, it's... It's really a pretty coach. It really Very is. Pretty. I love this brown. What is this color? That is uh, teak. It's nice. Mm -hmm. I have a fan for Alan. Oh, we've got a question for Alan. Okay, let's roll it. Okay. Yes, Sarah, thank you. Hey, everyone. I have a fan question for Alan from yeah. Ron DeMario. Okay. Um, in all the years of new tech going into these coaches, are coaches getting heavier or lighter? Uh, we're actually getting a uh, lighter, uh, the quads obviously weigh more because of the extra slides, but, uh, there's so much technology going into light ply. Uh, we utilize the CNC obviously, but the, the materials are much lighter than they were. So we're constantly looking at things that, uh, will be structurally sound and save weight on every aspect of it, materials, uh, framing uh, and durable durability so there's a lot of factors in that too but good that's a great question it is a good great question because I think yeah. that weight consideration is at the forefront of the build yeah it's well, it's it, it's it, considered all along yeah. thank you Sarah it's considered all along the build from uh, a standpoint of engineering to design there's no question uh, and we're constantly looking for new items that would save weight and don't take away from any of the aesthetics or the st structural integrity. Gotcha. So, uh, yeah. 
the uh, ceiling, for instance, is a, it's a lighted marble graphic ceiling, and also the backsplashes are lighted graphic, so you don't have to have real stone in there. You've got the look uh, of it. You've got the look. And, and the authenticity uh, of yeah. it, because yeah. it's a real, it's a, it's an actual photo yes. of actual a, a stone. A high-res photo of actual stone. Gotcha. Yes. Yep. And Beautiful. so that, that you know, gives it a little ambiance. You're not going to put natural stone on your ceiling. Uh, no, no. We, yeah, that's correct. Very cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you, Alan. Absolutely. Appreciate your time, and I'm not going to steal your tape here. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Well, let's head on out, John, and wrap this sucker up. Point to the elephant. Oh, yep, there's the elephant right there. Yeah. I think people are asking to see it. <laughs> is that cast iron? It is. That's a heavy dude there. Uh, I had to... Weight other yeah, exactly. We cut it's, weight somewhere. It's a great, <laughs> but it just matches the color so well in here. And yeah. What a beautiful coach, Alan. Thank you. And a big thank you to uh, Dennis McBride, who spoke with the customers this morning. John, I'll let you get a good shot of that cockpit when you come on back down. But a big thanks to Dennis, who spoke with the customers this morning and got their blessing for us to show their new coach. Very, very cool. And there's a good shot of the front. And a big thanks to Sarah Fiddler, who's hanging out with us this morning, who also designed, you designed this paint, didn't you? She also designed this exterior paint, so. I've got one more good question oh, for yeah, you, Oh, yeah, Sarah, go ahead. I have a question from Robert Joyce. Has Marathon ever allowed an outside design firm to design the oh, interior of a coach? What a great question. So the answer is yes. We've had collaboration. We've had a lot of collaboration working with either Alan or historically Brenda or even Santara. There's been a lot of collaboration between people who have used interior designers before for their homes or their boats or even their coaches, and they've come in and advised on the project or worked hand in hand directly with our design team. So yes, that's definitely, that's a good question. Something we, uh, we see from time to time. Yes. That's about it, I think. Okay. Let's go over here, John, and we'll close out with a shot of the side here. Very cool. Everybody, thanks for putting up with my voice and my little bit of coughing this morning. Be yourself and do good things. It's good to be back at Marathon. Uh, good times at the desert. But here's the deal. I'm going to Nashville for the Marathon Club Rally. So that's going to be really exciting. In two weeks, I will be bringing tons of content from Nashville with about... 40, maybe, maybe a little bit more than 40 coaches in the Nashville area for the Marathon Club Rally. I've never been able to uh, show you, the viewer of Marathon Mondays, what it's really like to be part of the Marathon Club. And it's a big part of being a marathon owner if you choose to be involved. So a big thanks to uh, Marathon Management for selecting me to go to the Nashville Rally. I'm excited to go and show everybody exactly what it's like at these rallies because they're so in-depth and you get all these owners together and they it's basically like a, a club event can be great for these owners because they're sharing a lot of their information and a lot of the things that they like about being marathon owners so look for that in a couple of weeks but i'll be back live here at the mothership on monday so a big thanks to sarah fiddler and john for hanging out with me and a big thanks to dennis mcbride and the owners of this beautiful new coach right here. Be yourself and do good things. I'm gonna get out of here and uh, Wapakoneta, Ohio.